legendary gamers. Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting StarCraft 2 Shoutcast. I am your Shoutcast announcer, Mr. Worm, here. I've got a 1v1. Uh, this came from, give me a second here, the uh, Gigabyte NVIDIA Invitational. Uh, so I got their replay pack and I figured I'd check this out. This is uh, Slayer's Sella, uh, just Sella, known uh, by a lot of people because, um, you know, his name is Sella, in fact. Um, he's also known as the... Uh, you know, what was it? It was like the uh, the canceller or something like something cute on their on their forum boards. Um, yeah, Can Cancella. That's his name on the on the forum boards there. Cell uh, uh, is uh, uh, very commonly he does Smurf accounts. Uh, you know, just to play around. Oh, doing an extractor trick. That's interesting. Don't see that very often anymore. Uh, his opponent today is going to be Manchi. Manchi is uh, part of the ESC Gaming. Um, this uh, is, of course, a live tournament play, so these guys are going to be going for the beans here. I'm going to be pretty interested to see how they open uh, for one another. It does uh, seem to be a pylon on the low ground, so Manchi probably going to be going for a Nexus first. Um, if you uh, watch the mineral stack up here, um, I was surprised to see that you know there isn't um, a, uh, a forge going down. And, of course, that's going to be dependent on how um, Sella decides to, to play this. Um, and Sella is putting down <clears throat> what looks like 14 supply spawning pool. Okay, so whether he goes 14, 14 pool, 15 hatch, or 16 hatch, uh, Manchi right now is probably going, okay, that's, that's really not good. Because um, I have gone Nexus first, and Sella has gone and taken an outside expansion. Ooh, ooh! Because if Sella had just dedicated directly to the attack, he might have had an actual decent chance of getting in through this wall. Because now Manchi is probably going to have to hold off on pro production in order to look at that. He actually he actually returned that little bit of minerals just to get that that one little little extra five minerals. Okay, and that's a that's a pretty decent looking wall. I believe that is solid up against this side. I believe that uh, you cannot get in through there. So his only entrance point is going to be right here in between these two buildings. Okay, uh, and the cannon going down. And those zerglings do chase away the probe. Uh, they did not drop um, a pylon, so he saved himself the money there. And of course, Slayer's is going. Uh, Slayer Cell is going to take his third. Um, it is always annoying to see this kind of thing, and Manchi does scout out the fact that there are going to be three hatches right off the bat. So he knows that he's safe for a little while. He can go ahead and just uh, go econ and make a whole bunch of probes. Um, and uh, it's going to be kind of a slow game, that means. Uh, uh, what's interesting to me is the fact that uh, Sella here um, uh, hasn't taken any of his gases yet. That, that's not uncommon. Um, in fact, that's that's perfectly normal. So maybe I shouldn't have said it's it's unusual because it's really not. It's more one of those situations where you know if if he wants to be aggressive, um, he has to get the gas in order to be aggressive. Um, and it looks like he's just perfectly content uh, sitting back and droning as much as he humanly possibly can. However, there is Weapons Level 1 coming out uh, on that forge, and of course, uh, Sella is going to see um, you know, that spinning up, and he's going to know that there's something going on. And a Zealot coming out here to chase off these Zerglings, and they do not have speed, so uh, they're still faster, obviously, than the Zealots, so there's, there's going to be no problems in, in them getting away. And Sella keeping an eye on the third just to make sure he doesn't expand. And that Zealot is actually kind of far out. I'm really surprised that he hasn't tucked him back in here. Because there's quite a lot of, I mean, space for, for run-by. I mean, if he brought a bunch of Zerglings up this way, he could just shoot, shoot and scoot right into the base. And there we've got four more gates. Or, sorry, three more gates. And wait, no, four. And then five. And then six. Just as that overlord passes over, and what did he get a look at? He got a look at everything. So he, he knows this is coming. 
Um, this is not going to be a surprise to Sella at all. And we should see you know, Roach Warren going down and Zerglings coming up, obviously, um, as a response to this. Uh, and let's check the Harvester count and see how they're doing. Okay, the Zerg is in the lead, so that's good. And he's on three base. So his, in his income is actually going to be uh, way higher because he's on three base, which means um, he's going to be... Um, his, his efficiency is better. He probably has 20. Yeah, look at that. That's, 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 uh, that's 19 right there. And uh, well, he's actually, he's actually really doesn't have a lot there. Okay, and that's uh, 17 there. So, oh, but of course he's got three on gas. So, about 15. So, ooh, oh, I'm sorry. Here comes the attack. Wow, that was way quicker than I was expecting. And he's going to have a lot of difficulty clumping up here and making use of this army. I mean, I mean, he's going to get stuck. Oh, that's so not good. Oh, with the reinforcements coming in the back, Monchi is just going to really tear through this. He has to pull all the probes in order to try to defend this. And I think that Slayer's Sella is going to hold this. Uh, here come some more zealots trying, trying to come out here, but I mean, that's just not going to do it. And Manchi just forced a GG out of this game. He knew that Sela had already hit the critical mass that he needed to to defend this push. So he went really, really early. Uh, these three pylons were probably, almost certainly, a massive mistake. Um, because the creep spread was already getting out to that point. I'm going to go ahead and, and rewind uh, about a minute back. That way we can see um, how this developed initially. Uh, and we'll just speed up a little bit here because this happened very very quickly ladies and gentlemen I do apologize for uh, missing the the initial warp in um, here we go so stalker and zealot came in very aggressively to that the first pylon went down and the second pylon went down immediately afterwards and he's only got a couple of Zerglings in here. If he could get a surround on either of these, he should have been fine. I'm, I'm really surprised why he pulled back. He, if, if, I, would have, I would have gone for that Stalker first. Here comes out the second Stalker, and these, these Lings are trying to go up here and take out that pylon, but that's not going to happen. Then the Zealots come in. This is actually starting to look bad uh, for Sela. However, Sela did finish the Roach Warren. He was saving up his money. He was pooling and banking that money for that big, big pack of roaches that he needed to pop just at the right time, and that's exactly what he got. And he even got that last inject off with that clean before it dropped. That's very, very good. And after that point, it was just getting the surround, forcing the stalkers to be pulled back, pulling a couple of workers, just as cannon fodder, to distract the, uh, the stalkers. And then Manchi trying to get the kind of APM that he needs. And there's just really no way he's going to be able to hold this. And that, after that point, Manchi's just going to get economically dominated. So Manchi GG's out of the game. Uh, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen.